I have breaking news that just came across my phone here on the show. The Chicago Bears are trading their number one overall pick to the Carolina Panthers in exchange for the number nine overall pick, the number 61 overall pick, a 2024 first round pick, a 2025 second round pick, and wide receiver DJ Moore. So another weapon for Justin Fields in Chicago. Shout out to the Bears. I like that. I like the fact that they're trading for DJ Moore. DJ Moore is a very, very underrated receiver. I think he can make tremendous plays in the open field, and I thought he did a great job leading that Panthers receiving core over the last few seasons. So now Justin Fields gets another weapon in DJ Moore. Remember, they did trade last year for Chase Claypool. So they got Chase Claypool now and DJ Moore as receivers on the Bears football team that's going to help Justin Fields. And the Panthers now have the number one overall pick this year. And I, I assume that this is a move that the Panthers made so they can move up in the draft and possibly select C.J. Stroud or Bryce Young. That's what I would assume. The Panthers are trying to get them a quarterback to build their franchise around. And in order to be an elite football team, you got to have an elite quarterback. So I, I like this move for both teams. I really, really do. And for the Bears, this shows Justin Fields that you believe in him. This, this, this shows Justin Fields that you believe he is your franchise quarterback who you can build your football team around now. Because remember, there were, there were rumors out of Chicago about how the Bears should trade Justin Fields and select either C.J. Stroud or Bryce Young with the number one overall pick and, and move off of Justin Fields. And I thought that was unfair. I really thought that was unfair because I feel like Justin Fields, he's never had the weapons around him to be successful. I, I feel like this past year, the weapons were mediocre at best. That's being nice. Last year, Justin Fields, 17 touchdowns, 11 interceptions, 2,242 passing yards. He completed 60% of his passes. But who was he throwing the ball to last year? They made that move for, for Chase Claypool, and Chase Claypool is, he's I, right, but Chase Claypool is, is, is not to be confused with a Jamar Chase, a Stephon Diggs, a Justin Jefferson, a Devontae Adams. That's not who Chase Claypool is. He's not even as good as T. Higgins is. But I look at the Bears receiving core. Byron Pringle, Equinus St. Brown, Nikhil Harry. They're going to add DJ Moore now, a part of this receiving room. So I like that move. In the backfield, you still got David Montgomery. You still got Khalil Herbert. And then they also got Darnell Mooney as well as one of their receivers. So I like them adding DJ Moore. And I think it's going to help Justin Fields. You got to put some weapons around Justin Fields. Put some weapons around him and see if he can play. See if he can play and actually be a franchise quarterback you can build your team around. And again, for the Panthers, you got to go back to the drawing board. I love this for the Panthers. Because now you can pick either Bryce Young or C.J. Stroud and build your team around your young quarterback. You got to have a quarterback if you want to compete. Uh, and I like the move for the Panthers and the Bears.